Okay, see, this is our Arduino Nano. And this Nano is not capable to produce a maximum higher frequency. I mean, I am talking about more, 5 MHz to 10 MHz. Other hand, our Arduino Nano can produce a maximum of 60 kHz to 100 kHz. So I think this is not a great deal for making a die function generator with only Arduino. So for the solution is this module. This is AD9833. This is quite popular for generate any kind of frequency. I mean square wave, triangle wave, even a beautiful sine wave. Now the main question is how to operate this AD9833 module with Arduino and this module documentary. So that is why I visited on GitHub web page with AD9833 library and see here. The library operating every command you will find here. With these commands, you can make your own code for operating this module in right way. So I make a code for myself with this all command and the first try purpose I set here 1 kilohertz sine wave and after then I connect my oscilloscope with this and see a beautiful 1 kilohertz sine wave and after then I set triangle wave. Even you can see this is also awesome. Even square wave <laughs> that is pretty awesome. And if I want to increase the frequency to 100 kilohertz, then I can. Even 1 megahertz, absolutely I can. Even if I want, then 5 megahertz, I can. This is pretty easy to operate. I hope you might be thinking about 10 megahertz, right? Yes, you can. But in this case of 10 megahertz signal is slight bit destroyed. This is not usable, right? So I hope the 5 megahertz is enough for my hobby project. Guys, this module is really great because this module has a 28-bit phase resistor section. Even the output stage is 10-bit digital to analog converter. So as a result, the output stage is really precise and stable. As a result, the output resolution is really precise. And guys, this module will never make you disappointed. So guys, let's make a very nice decent function generator with very low budget. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. JLCPCB always think of customer convenience, for which JLCPCB has came up with SMT Assemble service. If you use SMT Assemble when you order your PCB, you can save your time and also get all the part you are using in your project 100% genuine and with perfect soldering. I think SMT service is a great option for your PCB. There is also more benefits such as 3D printing, variety of color of PCB, maximum 6 layer PCB and many more. So don't waste any more time, today upload your PCB and enjoy. When I try to build it myself with a professional one, then I search for some information on Google. Very first I looking a page on GitHub, that's name is Shaggy Dog. This guy make this AD9833 function generator code very accurate. So I download this code. Even this guy provides us a very beautiful circuit diagram. So as a result, you can make it yourself without any headache. So without any headache, I connect everything on this breadboard according to this shaggy dog diagram. And after 10 minutes later, so finally now time to upload this code. See the interface of my display, just as I was thinking. You can see everything is provided us on this small display, such as square wave, sine wave, triangle wave. Even what kind of frequency you are want to select. <laughs> everything you can do very well with this function generator. So when I realize everything is ok, so now time to build some professional PCB for it. Because I want to use it for my hobby project for a long time. Because I think 5 MHz is enough for your hobby project. So here you can see this is my final PCB. Now time to order it from GLC PCB. And see here. I am using SMT IC. If you are afraid to solder this kind of IC, so then you can use here this SMT option. Because this is a great for time saving, even for beginner. Ok see, this is the final physical PCB in my hand. And here you can see this time I am using purple color. And the PCB are really great. So let's solder this SMT IC. And after soldering this IC, now time to burn the bootloader and firmware. So that is why over here this is my homemade programmer, I hope you know guys. So I put it on it and burn the bootloader and firmware. When everything is done, the signal means everything is ok. So now time to mount a rest component on it. Here I am using LM7812 for positive volt, I mean positive 12 volt. And another one is LM7912 for negative 12 volt. And this one is LM7805 for 5 volt logic voltage. On the other hand, here you can see I am using an op-amp 
for amplitude and shifting my signal. Here I am using SMD1 but in your case you can use DIF1. After one hours later every component is soldered in this board and this is the final look. So now time to check it again it is working properly or not. For that purpose here I am using 1202 center tap transformer. This one is 600 milliamp hour. Next I connect every wire with my board and finally I connect my AC jack with it and see everything is working fine without any smoke. Ok see here everything is working great but this is not possible to use without any proper housing right? Because this is very messy. So here I will try to make a 3D printed housing for it. And after one day later this is the final 3D printed frame for my function generator. So now I want to fit everything in it. And finally I fit everything in this case. In this process you can lose long time. And finally everything is complete. See the impression. Decent looking right? You can make it yourself. Every file you will find in the description box and the circuit diagram and the shaggy doc link you will find in my video description. So guys this is for today. I hope you can learn something new from this video. If you don't like this video then definitely you can dislike it. And if you like my video then subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.